This is the knitting news for from Knit Happens Teesside for Thursday the 16th of May 2019. Well, I did think that I might not be doing the knitting news this week as I wasn't actually at knitting. But I do have some news, so here it is. Um, I had a few days away and this is Marisol by Lisa Richardson which I was complaining about the writing of the pattern last week um, and it was to do with these bits here and I sat on holiday and did them from there to there and then tinked them back down to there and started again from there and went back up to there and did it my way kind of a little bit um, and I added some short row shaping at the back so that the neck isn't as low as at the back as the front so I'm very pleased with it the other news is Jill has informed me that the Tooth Fairy cushion is finished so that's good and today I contacted Mag Maggie just to see how knitting was last night, just in case she may have some news. <laughs> and she proceeded to add us, quite a few of us, to um, a messenger video chat, which was quite amusing because none of us had any idea what was happening whatsoever. I thought it was Emily and then I saw Maggie's name and then there was somebody in the shadows. And... Fee was in France, doing some writing, I think. And Petrina and Maggie were caught out at the wool shop. No, they were at the Knit and Natter that they always go to on a Friday. At the wool shop in Stockton. Which is, what is it all about wool? or All things wool, I think is the name. And I was working at home. And I think Kath was working at home too. And if there was anybody else involved, I didn't see them on my screen. <laughs> but there was four people and it was, so it was quite a quite a funny event. So thanks for that, Maggie. But nice to see you, Fee. <laughs> well, I have got some tea here. But I forgot to pour it out and I've just waffled everything that I can think of to say. Apart from I've been on Ravelry. And it's not only me that's duh with the shaping on this particular pattern. There was another lady who did precisely what I did, for which I thought I could just copy and paste her paragraph and put it on my project notes. <laughs> so I've been to Suffolk, to the Suffolk countryside, and I'm not quite sure how, but... Everybody else on the campsite left. We arrived on Saturday. They all left on Sunday. I don't think it was anything to do with us. But we got the whole place to ourselves till we came home. And it was just heavenly. So the dogs were off running up and down. And because Tim wasn't there some of the time, I had to go to the loo and leave the door open to keep an eye on the dogs. And then a train went past. But it was in the distance, so that was okay. <laughs> Actually, I kept going to the loo and leaving the door on because it was so free. It's a nice opportunity to have a bit of freedom away from people and cars. And, well, there were some RAF jets going over overhead, but that was all right um, for a short while. And I think if you live there, you'd just get used to it. Yeah, and the dogs loved it. And so did Tim. And now I'm back. So I should think I will be at knitting next week. And I'll let you know what everybody else is doing. So more news, maybe, next week. 